Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Deck. And a few days ago, I showed you how to make this sweet organizer. My friends, today I'm going to show you how to make it grow. So, <laughs> let's get cracking. Once again, the first step is never wreck your original. So, let's click on duplicate so we can play with this new one. I'm going to begin by clicking on the name and making it so that I can keep track of these. I'm going to name this larger. So that way I can tell it is the one that is bigger than the other one. I'll get rid of the of. So now that I've got this larger one named, let's get to making it bigger. Today I'm simply going to add 30 to the width of it. And watch how easy it is to start this process. So it does take some maneuvering, but first, grid of 5. And remember I'm going 30, so I'm just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 clicks to that side. Let's hide all these pieces real quick. And we've got to take this one and we've got to break it all apart. Now, if you remember right, I had a uh, silly set of these holes under here for the middle that I didn't use. I'm going to delete those right now because I don't think they're needed. Let's see if I can click on that one. If not, what I'm going to do is real quickly hide this piece, delete that piece, bring them all back, look at it from the front, and then hide those again so they're out of the way including that one. So now we've got to take these pieces and we've got to ungroup them because if you stretch them, they grow that. So let's ungroup all of this. Click it once and just ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup until there's nothing left to ungroup. We want to keep these in these locations. So let's hide this base and now regroup your pieces so that they stay together. Now watch this though. Two shapes, perfect. These six, they want to stay in the same spot. So make them as one group. And notice I'm counting the shapes as I do them. And group. Now remember we moved six clicks over. So we can simply click on this piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are now perfectly lined up for our new piece. These will align in a minute using the center command. Let's do show all. And then since this piece has all its pieces ungrouped, we can simply add 30. Well, 90 plus 30 is 120. Let's hide these middle pieces again quick. And now let's take these holes that we used and let's align them again. Remember, when we click align, click on the part we want to be the center, and boom, those are all back in place. And let's hide this side for a moment. Let's group that whole base back together. So now that is all in place, except we did not group this side. So now all of our holes are cut out, just like they're supposed to be. When we do show all, all we've got to do now is grow these and nudge this till it's in the exact right spot as well. Let's start with this middle part. Click it, and then shift click the bottom. Do your align, click the middle, and click the middle. And that is going to be the center of the entire project. We are happy with these sides, so let's hide them for a minute. Notice that this side was totally lined up where it was supposed to be. We're happy with this little guy so we can hide him. Now we just need to ungroup all these guys. So just ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup and ungroup until you've got it all ungrouped. Notice there's no more ungroup spots. Everything's cut out underneath. It is totally adjustable now. Let's click on these center sections or the walls and let's hide them because they're the easiest adjustment. All right, friends, so if we look at these straight on, we can simply grab those three pieces. With our grid set at five, we just have to do six clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and they are in place where they're supposed to be. Now, if you're paying attention though, they are not supposed to be holes. So notice I'm carefully selecting all six and getting them back to being red. And then I'm also going to click down here and hide these. And these little fellas need to be red as well. Let's make sure they're centered. I'm going to do the show all again. Get them all back really quick. And then I'm going to just hide everything up above. 
because I'm only worried about those pieces underneath. And then we just simply need to grab those holes and click align. And remember, we're aligning to this piece, and boom. Ooh, we don't want them to be separated. So I'm going to just do undo real quick. Let me ungroup these. And I'm going to take those six tabs, and I'm just going to make them one big group because I like where they are. I just don't like where they were centered on the shape. Even though they did look lined up, it's just smart to build like this. So real quick, there's our height again. Missed these two, so I'm going to just touch them. Notice I'm just dragging, touching, hiding. And these are lined up, but I just want to make sure you don't skip that step. Align, center, and center. So that way our tabs are all in place. Let's do a quick show all, and let me show you how to stretch these out. Once again, remember we added 30. So if we just type 104 for the size of each of these walls, boom, it is back the way it's supposed to be. One more time, and our project is almost complete. Now we just need to group the pieces that go together. These sides were all complete, so we can hide them, hide them, and the bottom is all cut out, so we can hide it. And that makes it easy for us to find the parts that we group together. This whole row gets grouped together. This piece right here, let's hide these real quick. And that way we can see that this piece is all grouped together. So I'm going to totally hide it. Do my show all. And then I just want to hide these real quick. Notice it said two shapes. I'm going to hide this. I'm going to shift click, hide that. So now I can group this whole chunk together. Oh, those bottom pieces, I grouped them. That makes that a problem. So I'm going to click on these bottom pieces and I'm going to ungroup and I'm going to ungroup again. That was great for centering, but when we finally group the projects, not so cool. So now we can group that piece and that piece, and then finally that piece. Before we do show all and take a peek at our project with all the cutout holes in place. Let's take a quick look at this though. If we do hide, I don't have my cutout tabs. So let's back up and see what I got backwards in my system. I'm going to simply touch these two pieces so they're out of my sight. They're hidden. And now if we do ungroup, are there tabs inside this shape that I accidentally turned into solids? Nope, that's not the case. Let's see if they're in here. I'm going to once again hide that piece. No, those pieces don't exist. So let's get them back real quick by doing this. I'm going to hide the piece. I'm going to hide the piece. I'm going to ungroup this little dude. Let's see how many pieces are in here. I grouped all the pieces with him, the holes and the solids. So when I click this, notice how those are the two solids. I'm going to hide them because they do exist. I'm going to click on this shape again. And I'm going to click on hide for it. And these guys are solids. So I'm going to turn those into the holes. So this is a hole. Let's do show all. We're once again going to quickly hide. I'm going to hide the real piece because I want those tabs, and I'm going to make those holes again. That's all I had to do to re-fix uh, those. Once again, I'm going to hide these two pieces. Boom. Eh, Got to do show all first. Hide, hide, hide the bottom. Only because it's easier. I could have shift-clicked, but this is a much easier way to group those solid tabs and the special cutout holes that I accidentally left out. But because of a little bit of double checking, I did notice it. And now when we hit show all, you can see the whole project's there. And now it is ready to be switched to layout mode, which we simply click this button and then hit the awesome duplicate and then simply change the name. Remember we backspace and we call it layout so we know which one it is. With your layout in place, remember we simply grab the cool shapes, rotate them 90 degrees and use D to drop them down to the place where they go. Once again, 
rotate, 90, drop. But then this one, I did the cool thing so I had the same side of my cardboard. I flipped it. This one, we want to rotate it this way. So I'm going to look at it from a corner. We want to make sure we have the tabs down. Because if you add a name on this, or if you cut out a name, you want the name to be on that side. So once again, I hit D to drop. Rotate this one 90 degrees. I'm going to do it by typing. I don't really care which way it gets cut because I'm not adding anything to it. Rotate 90 degrees. I'll type again. D to drop. And rotate 90 degrees. D to drop. So there it is all laid out. We've got the name. We can select it all. We can export it. But I'm going to add some cool designs to it real quick. First, I'm going to cut out my name. I'm going to do that by going to All Shapes, Page 2. I want Script. And I'm going to put it right here. Needs to rotate 90 degrees. Once again, I'm going to just type it. And then I'm going to type in the text box, HL, and press Enter but I want to change it from script to major snafu. Once again, I like this because when it cuts out, uh, there are no holes or things that fall out. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to move the next one down using the arrow key to a location I like. I'm going to backspace over HL and I'm going to type MOD, T-E-C-H. I put caps, but this font doesn't have anything but caps. I'm going to take those two pieces and I'm going to align them centered. The mod tech doesn't fit, so I'm going to zoom in on it so I can see better what I'm playing with. I like the black handle. That's the best way i found to stretch things. Align them again, center, center, click to this, pop. I like that. They're going to cut through, so now when I group those, I have all of a sudden got a named organizer. I'm going to add some cool designs to the side of this because you may remember that our original one had the designs. I'm going to switch to a top view of that shape and I'm going to zoom in right to that shape. I'm going to go back to the basic shapes and they had triangles cut out so I am going to cut out triangles. And I'm going to do it with the roof. I'm going to take this roof, look at it from a corner and stand it up. I'm going to change its measurements to what I choose instead of the 20 I'm gonna change it to 10 I'm gonna make it a hole I'm gonna turn on my 5 nudge with that nudge selected control D 1 2 3 and then if I just do control D again without touching anything else it saves that move I'm gonna click on this one separate so I'm getting rid of that memory I'm doing control D and I'm going up 2 over 1 I'm gonna flip it this way so that it's aimed down all right, I want this piece centered between these two, and I'm going to do it like this real quickly. Draw a rectangle that just touches them, and group them. Grab all three, click a line, and then I'm aligning to those two, centered, and boom, that looks the way I want. Now I can go back to show all. My nudge is still at five, so the next time I do control D, if I go three clicks over, that lines up. And then I'm going to click back on these and ungroup them. And so it's easier to select. I'll just hide that guy. Ungroup. And then I'm going to take this one and do control D. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I like that layout. Bring it back one. All right, we're going to put that design on both sides of the project. So quickly, let's hide it. Let's group that cute little design. Let's do control D and let's move it to the other side. Notice I did not nudge it and that's because of this. So that it lines up exactly where I want, I'm going to do a line, click, and I'm going to do the edge. And now I'm just going to nudge it in, one, two, three clicks. So then if I do that exact same thing over here, they will be lined up. Align, tell it what I care about, this edge, and click just that piece, one, two, three clicks. And now when I group those parts, they're not only an organizer, they have also got a cool design. You could use this technique to add words, anything you want, to your cool creation. Alrighty, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed the project. As you can see, I did cut one out. 
added my cool designs, my HL Mod Tech on the front, and it is wider than it was, so now it holds things a lot better. It does not have tabs underneath. You'll notice that the one in the picture theirs was raised up. I could do that. It may be on my list, but that's what's so fun is this is so easy to adjust and make custom. You could put different people's names on them in a snap. Super fun and easy. I'm doing it with free cardboard. You could also do it with real materials. Friends, if you found the video useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.